What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We're out here on my boat today. We got Jimmy and Rachel. And we're going offshore looking for bluefin tuna. Uh, there have been some yellowfin around and some kelp patties holding Dorado and some free swimming Dorado. So we're gonna shoot out offshore, troll around, get the binos out and see what we can find. All right, so we are slow trolling around with the sabiki back behind the boat, just trying to catch a few, oh, lost you. Trying to catch a few mackerel before we head offshore. I always like to have probably like eight to 10 mackerel just in case we're finding foaming fish or breezing fish. We can cast the mackerel into them, slow troll the mackerel, you see a marlin, any of that stuff. It's always good to make mackerel before you head out. Um, water clarity is really, really bad right now after the storms we've had recently. So we can't do what we normally do and use the chum buddy and chum the mackerel to the boat, just not working. Um, so we're just dragging the sabiki back around. We started in 50 feet, we're gonna head out to 80 and just hopefully catch them. I'm just, I'm like moving very slowly around this boat. <laughs> just give me a second. <laughs> I respect that. I mean, if I fall in the water, you guys aren't gonna wanna be around me because I will not be happy. Bait party died. Are you sure we're gonna get you out of the water? Uh, I was gonna say, well, at that point, we'll... I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. You're telling us you're gonna be miserable if you fall in the water. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave you in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, a double. Get him out of that. All right, little update for you guys. We saw one spot of bluefin come up very quickly, so we started trolling uh, the spreader bar, cedar plug, and a little daisy chain. Um, we were about to switch over to the Mad Mac just to cover a little bit more water when we saw a kelp patty with a bird sitting on it. Um, we're slow trolling two sardines right now. Jimmy did see something jump, and he said it looked like a little Dorado, so we're gonna slow troll around, and then we're gonna slide in a little closer and see if we can pitch a couple of baits at it. We can't get it to bite, and I do see that there's Dorado uh, on the patty, I'll hop in and take a shot at one. Oh, I got it, I got it. That's what it sounds like when it's big. Yeah, oh. that's, uh, that sounds about right. Well, we just got short bait right there. Drop down to 20 pound test and a tiny little hook. Oh, he dropped it. That's all right. We'll keep slow trolling around then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Little short, short bite right there. Definitely, a, definitely a Dorado grabbed him. But that's a good sign. Um, Jimmy has a smaller sardine on there. I might try a little bit smaller one, and we'll do another lap real quick. Yeah. You still see the other one? 
anyone see me? I haven't seen them swim by in a little bit. Let's get this one on the boat. Alright, uh, Rachel, can you see them? Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, there, there. We finally caught a fish. <laughs> Look at that little tiny 20 pound, that little tiny circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect. Nice, dude. There you go. There we go. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sick. Man, what a long day, honestly. Covered a lot of water. Finally got a biting fish. Sick one, dude. Beautiful colors. Especially in the sun. <laughs> Especially in the sun. Nice, dude. Nice. There we go. Piss bump. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> sunset. sunset colors. One bite. Can you like... This one's good. Good. Yeah, here oh, you! Oh, jumper! Just keep it tight, okay? There we go, there we go. Don't, don't turn it. Just keep the rod tip up. There you go. Just like that. Nice! nice. Alright, Rachel's on. There we go. Woo! Sick! Oh, he's jumping! There you go, babe! And, yep, rod tip up. Keep a bend in that rod tip. Doing great, doing great. Alright, dude! Sick! Biting kelp. That one, that one right there. Um, that was a bait on it too, Jimmy. There we go. This one. Yeah. So it's gonna take. Oh, nice. You're doing great. Remember when he runs, let him run. And check your drag. Perfect. Love it. Good job, baby. There we go. Rachel's on her first Dorado. Uh, you can hold it up, Jimmy. I'll take a picture of you. Nice. Yeah. So, it's not a rake, so if he runs, let him run. Keep the, as long as the rod tips up, and that, the, there's a bend in that tip. swam himself out, Jimmy. We're good. What was that? He swam himself out. We're good. There you go. You're okay. You're okay. Why, is it, why did Jimmy's come back in so it didn't. quickly? <laughs> it didn't. Just keep whining. Keep whining. You're kind of screwed because you have that piece of kelp on there, but you're doing great, baby. All right. Doesn't look like the lines even coming in. Like, yeah, look. I know. Well, I can, I'm so tight, why am I? Why do I keep going like this? Remember, you lift, lift up, and then wind down. Wind, 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 okay. wind like that. And then slow. Well, then, yeah, tight, that makes a lot of sense. That's not what I've been doing. A little bit. Okay. Lift up. Wind down. You're doing great. Hey, Jimmy, I'm gonna back down on this. So that's a lot easier. <laughs> doing great, baby. Okay, that's what I should have been doing this time. Where's the kelp? Uh, did it pop off? It, yeah, it looks like it. This Let's go! makes way more sense. Yeah. Nice and easy. Oh, I see the kelp. The kelp right there. But it's not a problem anymore. So if you remember, if he runs, let him run. So lift up. Line down. <laughs> How are you feeling, Rachel? <laughs> Tired? <laughs> Rachel's first dodo. Now it's only 20 pound test and a very small hook, so once you get them underneath the boat, there's a lot less margin for error. Well, how do I think he's probably under yeah. the boat? Hey, Jim. Walk to the front. Wind as you go. Wind as you go. You got it, you got it, sorry. Try to go around the front. I 
see him. That one's bigger than mine. Doing great, baby. Okay, let him run, let him run. You ready for a bluefin? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, nice and easy. Don't start yanking now. He saw the boat and he, he ran. That's totally fine. Lift, lift the rod tip and wind down. Perfect. Look at the sunset. We got Rachel hooked up. Don't yank. You're yanking a little bit. It's nice and easy. So lift. You're trying to trying to guide him to the boat, not scare him. Guiding him right in. There, go. there it is. See, so as you guide him in, and he doesn't freak out and fight it as hard. Let's go, dude. So sick. Yeah, easy, easy, easy. Let him run, let him run, let him run. That's when you pause when he's running. Three. Is he taking drag? Yeah. That's alright. Nice and easy, nice and easy. He was so close. He was so close. Going on like 15 minutes. 15 minutes of fighting. How did I want to do this? <laughs> Remember, keep a bend in the rod tip. Oh. Oh. Start working your way forward again. That's like really hard for me because I'm not used to rolling that easy. But wind as you go if you can. It's like rubbing your tummy and patting your head at the same time. Frank, get a crank. Got it. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Dude, that's a fat Dorado! <laughs> Good <Hi>. job, babe. <laughs> that's why it took so long. Oh, you're dude, we got so lucky, he swallowed it. We're so lucky. That was 20 pound test. That circle hook is down his throat. Let's go. That's the bull. That's the male. Look how sweaty you are. <laughs> nice, baby. Oh my god. That's hard. Look at that thing. Nice bull. That's why it took longer than Jimmy's, babe. Because <laughs> you got the big one. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I wanted to. Okay. Good job, baby. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> we had to cut in and out. We had some uh, camera difficulties there, but that was epic. It was like a t almost a 20 minute fight, probably. I mean, I feel good about it. Just that was hard. Yeah. And I, I didn't know what to expect. Had a terrible gaff job, hit him right in the, eh, I guess that's the belly, but what 20 pound test? That's a nice Dorado right there. Epic. So we got two. Got Let's two. circle back. We got enough time to make one more pass before we got, a, got, got like in. 18 miles to go. Uh, yeah, it's debatable, but I want to get you one. Look at this. Oh. I just got bit right under the boat. I honestly, I put the sardine in the water. I put the sardine in the water just to, oh God. I put the sardine in the water just to kind of get the, the line off of the rod tip and it got bit underneath the boat. So let's do this. Oh, and I think a bit. That's a biter. Biter! Let's go! <laughs> Woo Sick one! Dude, they're underneath the boat, Jimmy. Let's go! Sunset biter! Get a freshie on, Jimmy, if that one's not swimming. Oh, he's right here! I got a freshie. Okay. Probably not that big. 
<laughs> you want me to take this? Yeah, baby. Just remember that the... I have the... Oh, yeah, they're right behind mine. They're blowing up There's on the chum. There's two over here. They're blowing up on the chum! Is he fighting? That's <laughs> so sick. Oh, oh. Okay. Do you have the thing in your yeah. pocket? Nice. Smart. This one, I wish we could net this one, but... No, I'm already bit. Are you? Yeah. Just worry about that then. Just get quite yours. You're fine. Do you want me to gash him? <laughs> You're alright, baby. I'll go. Are you bit? Jimmy? Uh, anymore, okay. Where did the gaff go? Um, it's over on the side. Dude, they literally ate it underneath the boat. That was so cool. I think they hungy. Uh oh, little Dorito, but hey, come back. <laughs> so, so fun, man. Got a little gentleman start today. The the game plan was bluefin tuna, but. That never really happened. I think we only saw one spot. We didn't see if it was yellowfin or bluefin. Could have been, could have been yellowfin to be honest with you. But there you go. <laughs> little Dorito. Hey, they all taste the same, dude. You got them in the butt. I did. All right, I'm on the board. Little Dorito. Such cool fish. See the colors changing right off the bat. That one ate it underneath the boat. There's still a handful more. We're going to try to get a couple more before we have to run in. But, man, turned out to be a fun day. Let's go. It's feast or famine out here. Oh, there is a big one. There's another big one in the water. Yeah. He's going to jump. Yeah, oh, Jimmy's big. Let's jump. Let's jump. Fresh one. Oh, oh, no, it came off. Oh, no, it didn't. Wind, wind. Just keep mm. winding. Sorry, I'm in the way. <laughs> Trying to get out of the way. Oh, they're blowing up over there, dude. Let's go. We'll go home in the dark. I don't care. Sick, that's a good one, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I just I literally hugged it right in front of it. So cool. A little blood on the deck. I hope my video isn't too shaky because my arms are shaky. First big city. Oh my gosh, this is a big one. All right, you ready to catch another one, Rachel? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna need you to gap this. Is he already here? Yeah. Hopefully he'll smart. Now that I get the technique done, I'm ready. He's gonna run right now. Dang, dude, look at, look at the colors on him in the water. That's so sick. This is not what we came out for. We only brought two rods for fly lining. I wish I had brought more. We came prepared for uh, tuna fishing, but I'll take this as a consolation prize any day. I don't think I've ever oh. had Dorado. Oh, he was gonna run. He wasn't. He wasn't ready. <laughs> Let me know when he gets close again, Jimmy. All right. I'm gonna get Rachel rigged up here. Good job. You. <laughs> <laughs> Come off? Yeah. Uh, uh, did you break it or just pop No, it? I just popped the hook off, dude. Honestly, mine probably would have done that too if it hadn't swallowed it. Dang it. That's alright. That's alright. Where were you seeing him? Over there. Oh, yep. I think you probably should pop it. Yep. Probably. Oh, oh hold on, Joe. <laughs> you see him? Nope. That was one. Yeah, we might have to end it on a on a lost fish because obviously we're running out of daylight here, and we have <laughs> 18 miles to, to get home. All right, I think I'm bit. Sunset biter. Oh yeah. We're on. No. Uh, 
Here you go, Rachel. Here we go. We're on again. Yep, you got it. Fine, 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 fine. Rachel's on again. Here we go. <laughs> Throw it over by that cup. How's this one feel compared to that last one? Lighter. Lighter? Yeah. Probably. But also now that I've got some of the technique done. Alright, what'd we learn? She's oh, there she goes. <laughs> oh, oh. Let me jump. Wine, wine, wine. Coming back this way. Coming back around. Here we go. Uh, this is a wide uh, one. Move, move, move. I'm trying. Nice. Free spool with the clicker on. Got a little easier. Yeah. <laughs> Hold yeah. that one up, baby. There you go. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just throwing the nice one. Your one. second Dorado. Second one. Nice, Yay. baby. Gosh, they're such beautiful fish and tasty. I've never Let's had Let's go. Oh, you're about to. All right, guys. We ran out of... The, obviously, the fish are still biting, but we're running out of daylight. And we got 18 miles to get home. So we're going to call it there. Leave them biting. Ended up with four on the boat? Four. We got four on the boat. Which isn't bad. We only had one casualty. It just pulled the hook, too. It didn't bend the hook out, right, Jimmy? Just, just pulled it? Just pulled it. So we'll take that any day ended up being super fun we're gonna run in and uh yeah we'll see you guys at the uh, fillet table and then in the kitchen so we're back at the fillet table we got these two nice dorado i'm just gonna pull them both out so you guys can get another size comparison got the little female the little hen and right, here's that bull <laughs> Kind of a big size difference there. <laughs> Obviously, Jimmy Jimmy kept the other two, so we, we got two for ourselves. Um, turned out to be a super fun day. A little frustrating weekend fishing. It is Labor Day weekend, so we saw spots of tuna that we were pulling up on. Just had guys running over our lines, running over the fish. Classic weekend warrior stuff, but comes with the territory, especially when there's a lot of fish close to home. But we scored this nice kelp patty that was biting right as the sun was going down so super stoked about that let's get a weight on this big dorado here that rachel caught how much do you think it weighs i want to say like 18. you gonna say 18. yeah i don't know if that's it's accurate hard to, yeah it's hard to say it did sit on ice overnight so it definitely lost a little bit of weight but give it a go here probably way off probably yeah <laughs> It's hard to it's hard to guess these guys because they're so long, but they're really narrow. Felt 18 pounds when I was holding it. Bring that over here. You're right. About a 15 pound. Well, we'll say that was probably a 16 pounder. Yeah. When it was alive before it was bled out. So that's not that's not that bad of a guess for someone who's never caught a Dorado before. It's not <laughs> a bad size of the first Dorado. That's awesome, awesome fish. So I'm gonna start with the little one here. This guy, Enzo's like, what is going on? You've never seen that Dorado either, huh, bud? What is that? <laughs> Just look at that. Oh, oh little no. taste test. Okay. Nice. Good job, Enzo. <laughs> Not bad for your first offshore fish, huh? Nope. Good thing, the Did tail's it. super cool. We can, I'll actually cut the tail off and we'll we'll put that out and let it dry. We can keep it Yeah. a souvenir. A little souvenir. Nice. But yeah, that was Rachel's first offshore fish, offshore trip, all the above. 
I think she did all right catching that thing on 20 pound test. Nice. So if you don't know this already, uh, Dorado, Mahi Mahi, Dolphin Fish, whatever you call them, wherever you're from, um, these are the fastest growing fish in the ocean. So they're extremely, extremely sustainable as far as um, targeting them and they're pretty delicious. So let's get started on this nice big Dorado around here. So this one with the bowl, the obvious way to tell the male from female or the bull from the head is the bull has a nice flat head right here and the meat actually continues all the way up here. So with the bull, I like to kind of run my finger and you can feel where the bone kind of is. You don't want to miss this big chunk of meat right here. So these ones you cut a little differently. Find it. Right there. Right there. You can still see he's got that crazy bright green and blue. Such rad fish. All right, so head cuts down there. Flip them around and we're gonna trace all the way down. Or do that. <laughs> They're such cool fish. How streamlined they can be, but that just pops out. They're fast. Yes, they are. How cool do they look in the water? Amazing, that was the first time I saw them. Yeah, that first patty we pulled up on, we saw them jumping around, we got short bit once, but didn't get a hook into any of them, but it was still cool seeing them jump. Yeah. But then when you when you actually hook them, they get all lit up and they're swimming around the boat. Well, and this one jumped a lot too. Yeah, this one was very acrobatic. Hopefully next time we get out there and we're on Dorado, the water's cleaner though, because that water was pretty dirty. So it was like kind of hard to even see those beautiful colors but it's right, so just gonna trace down the back here real quick yep definitely bigger than that last <laughs> that last one that I just cleaned I'm just taking my time, just gliding the knife along those bones right there, trying to reach the spine. You can hear the knife hitting the spine there. Dorado have a very pronounced spine. And then I'm just kind of walking the knife slowly up and over that. And again, on the bottom, I'm just tracing right up behind his butt there. You don't want to cut into the guts at all. Dorado have very stinky guts. So try to avoid them. If we weren't, weren't running out of time. Um, I would have gilled and gutted them on the boat, but we lost our sunlight there and we had 18 miles to run back. So didn't have time to gill and gut them yesterday, but that's all right. We'll just be careful not to cut into the guts there. And right now I'm just kind of walking the knife up and over each little vertebrae of that spine. I'll show you guys once the fillet is off how aggressive their spines are. You can lose a lot of meat if you don't kind of take your time and walk the knife over there. But so that, that part's traced out with this bigger fish. I'm gonna leave it like that and just flip it over. slimy water and then do the same same thing on this side all right just trace the back just like that and now I'm gonna just glide the knife towards the spine separating all that flesh Perfect. All right, so now that both sides are traced, 
I'm gonna cut over the ribs, again, to avoid any of the guts on this one. That's one way to follow the belly right there. <laughs> Look at that. Getting danger close. Just going, I'm kind of aiming towards, you know the cavity ends right past his butt right there. So right about there, I think we're good. Broke, broke those pin bones, didn't get any of the guts on the filet. Now I just kind of walk it back. There we go. Jeez, that's a lot of meat off of that guy. <laughs> right here, if you look real closely, Dorado have a very pronounced bloodline. So for me personally, especially on fish this size, I'll separate the two. Just cutting right below the bloodline there. There we go. So now we can portion it out. Cut to the skin, turn the knife. That. Same thing here, kind of portion it out. One serving. Cut to the skin, and then makes it really easy to get that skin off. Pretty self-explanatory from there. I'm gonna run through, keep cleaning up the rest of this fish, and then uh, we'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, so here we have two pieces of that Dorado, and I just hit it really lightly with some olive oil. I'm gonna add some pepper, garlic salt, uh, cayenne, red pepper, some paprika, onion powder, sesame seed, and then I have ginger and lemon juice over here. We're gonna keep it super simple as far as the marinade. We're just gonna throw these seasonings on there and just cook it right here on the pan. And then I also have some steamed rice and asparagus. So should be pretty tasty. So since this is Rachel's first Dorado, we're cooking it the way she wanted to have it, which is just a light seasoning and grilled. There's plenty of other ways to cook Dorado that are equally as fantastic. Um, one of some of my other favorites are doing the panko breading or doing parmesan crusted. Probably do the do that with the rest of the dorado, but Rachel likes to experience her fish, especially if it's a fish she hasn't tried before, just kind of lightly seasoned and grilled. So that's how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna give these a little flip. If I can. Oh man, that was perfect. Got a nice little crust right there. That one. Yep. Now I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. green onion on the top. And then a little bit of sriracha. And Rachel wearing the Brenke's Dorado shirt with her first Dorado she's ever caught. Trying it for the first time since you were six. <laughs> it hits different. Why? Because I caught it. Because you caught it. And it's delicious. Nice and flaky. Little... It's flaky but moist. It has a nice like citrus tang to it. 
and like the crispy lemon juice. The lemon juice. <laughs> it's crispy on the outside, moist on the inside. It's perfect. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I just had the temperature too high, so it turned into blackened. Well, but when you have yeah, work. when you have the uh, the it pieces worked. that thick, it's not Look gonna overcook it. It's yeah. perfect. Nice. Well done. All right. We did it. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That actually is really good. Mmm. Oh my god, that's really good. The cayenne pepper, I don't think I've ever seasoned a fish with cayenne pepper before, but it gives it that little kick. And you're right, you can taste like the aftertaste of the lemon juice on there. Oh my god. It's a pretty easy recipe too. Yeah, it took us what, 20 minutes to cook mm -hmm. it? Didn't have to marinate or anything. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Like, look how flaky that is. Literally a piece just fell on my hand. Good call finding that recipe, mm -hmm. Rachel. Right. Click that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.